Saturday, August 10, 2024. Feast of St. Lawrence, Deacon and Martyr. First reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth, the upright generation shall be blessed. Response. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice, he shall never be moved, the just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Response. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear, his heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Response. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever, his horn shall be exalted in glory. Response. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat, but if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord.